There wasn't a dry eye in Austin's Moody Center as Lainey Wilson and more country superstars paid tribute to the late Toby Keith two months after his death at the CMT Music Awards. Wilson, 31, was joined by Brooks Dunn, Sammy Hagar and Lucas Nelson on Sunday, April 7. Former MLB player Roger Clemens exclusively told Jaga News that he was looking forward to remember Keith. Hopefully, I don't get too emotional, he told us on the red carpet. We miss him dearly and just an honor to be asked to come and present one of his songs, so I'm looking forward to it that he added that he wanted to recognize the family and stay upbeat throughout the night. Toby did leave us with some great songs. I mean, you know what I'm saying. A lot of great ones, and they're fun to sing too, Clemens, 61, said. Sometimes I can sing am pretty good and there's other ones I can't sing very well, but I give it my best, the retired athlete took the stage to introduce the tribute first. It's an honor to be here and celebrate big dog daddy Toby Keith, a true friend, patriot and great American. Toby was in Houston, off and on for three years while he was battling that damn quirt. Through it all, he always kept his humor and his wit, Clemens shared during the show that he added, a perfect example of it, my two younger boys, who played baseball right here at the University of Texas, they were in Oklahoma playing the Sooners, Tobis University. No, y'all can't boo tonight. This is for Tony. Toby told my boys, if you hit a home room off our Oklahoma pitcher today it'll sit on your dugout and it'll sing the eyes of Texas with you true to form, Toby sat on that dugout and with his funny wit, he sang I've been working on the railroad, Clemens introduced Brooks Dunn, who played Keats hit should have been a cowboy, and they introduced Hagar, Toby and I, we spent a lot of time in Cabo together over the years, the rocker, 76, said. We closed the Cabo Weibo down a lot more times than probably we even remember. Just put it like this, it's hard to get thrown out of your own bar, and we managed to do that, Hagar continued, we had this routine. I.D. go down early and I.D. I.D. be on stage with the band and I.D. see this big commotion going on at the front door and I would look up and Big Dog Daddy and his posse walking through the door and I would turn to the band and I would say, then, Hagar launched into Keith's song I Love This Bar and revealed his shirt said forever a sooner, following Hagar, songwriters Lucas Nelson and Riley Green came out to pay their respects. Toby was not a shy guy. He had a big personality. Nelson said. I met him when I was younger, when he was working on beer for my horses with Dad. I got lucky I got the opportunity to watch his artistry in person, Green added, that guy could come up with a hook like no other and sang the hell out of every song that he wrote somehow while making it look easy, they introduced Lainey Wilson, who covered Keith's How Do You Like Me Now? Finally, Clemens returned to the stage to end with the tribute with a shout-out to the family and a toast, Thanks for sharing your dad with all of us, Clemens said as he struggled to control his emotions. Thank you. Trish, we love you. Thank you for sharing your husband with the world Trish, thank you. He and many audience members raised red solo cups in reference to Keith's red solo cup track. Everybody at home, raise your fist if you don't have a solo cup, he said. Repeat after me whiskey for my men and beer for my horses, news broke in February that Keith had died at the age of 62. Toby Keith passed peacefully last night on February 5th, surrounded by his family. He fought his fight with grace and courage, a statement shared via his social media accounts read on February 6th. Please respect the privacy of his family at this time, Keith who is survived by wife Tricia Lucas and their three children, had been diagnosed with stomach cancer less than one year earlier. Last fall I was diagnosed with stomach cancer, the Red Solo Cup singer wrote via Instagram in June 2022. I've spent the last six months receiving chemo, radiation and surgery. So far, so good. I need time to breathe, recover and relax that he continued at the time, I am looking forward to spending this time with my family but I will see the fans sooner than later. I can't wait, nearly one year later, Keith was honored with the Country Icon Award at the inaugural People's Choice Country Awards in September 2023. On the red carpet, he offered a health update, thank you, 
You have successfully subscribed. Subscribe to newsletters. Subscribe by signing up. I agree to the terms and privacy policy and to receive emails from Jaga News Deal of the Day only 16. This tummy slimming one piece is 50 off today. View deal. Check our latest news in Google News. Follow us. Check our latest news in Apple News. Follow us. You have successfully subscribed. By signing up. I agree to the terms and privacy policy and to receive emails from Jaga News. Check our latest news in Google News. Check our latest news in Apple News. I've been okay. Just been rocking and rolling. Keith told Extra. I walked some dark hallways. Almighty is riding shotgun. But I feel pretty good. You have good days and bad days. It's a little bit of a roller coaster, but I'm doing a lot better than I was this time last year. Keith had sold more than 44 million records worldwide and was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame one day after his death. He also had a long standing history with the CMT Awards, having scored 30 nominations and 7 wins over the course of his career. Keith also co hosted the ceremony twice in 2003 and 2012 the first of which was when he won three trophies including Video of the Year for courtesy of the Red, White and Blue. The CMT Music Awards will further celebrate Keith's legacy in a one-hour TV special on Thursday, April 11th, that airs on CMT at 10 p.m. Eastern Time.